Welcome to the Methodist Dallas Medical Center. I'm Stephen Scott, the Energy Solutions Manager for North America for Armstrong Fluid Technology. Today, I'm going to walk you through the mechanical systems that were recently renovated at the hospital in 2012. We start the tour here today in the chiller room. Installed in the chiller plant are two 2,000 ton McQuay chillers. The first chiller immediately behind me was installed in about 2007 and utilizes constant speed compressors. The chiller behind it was installed in 2012 along with the renovation and it utilizes fully variable speed compressors. The Armstrong IPC controller controls the flow rates of the condenser and cooling water that go to the chillers for most optimal efficiency possible. Now we're going to go outside to the cooling tower area and show you the cooling towers outside. Here we are outside the cooling tower area at the hospital, where behind me we have the four new cooling tower cells that were installed in 2012. Each tower is sized for a thousand tons each and was supplied with a variable frequency drive on the tower fan. Additionally, they were selected for variable water flow so that the Armstrong IPC controller can maximize the part load efficiency of the towers. The previous towers were old wooden fill towers that were in dire need of replacement so that now after the installation, the hospital can take advantage of the efficiency gains from the IPC control system. Moving around to the other side of the cooling towers, we have the condenser pump station, designed and supplied by Armstrong Fluid Technology. The pump station consists of five design envelope Armstrong pumps, each 100 horsepower, so that there's one extra redundant pump for the cooling towers, as well as we provided the suction guide, flow tricks valves, and a common return header for the package. All of the electrical goes to a single point power connection, and all of the pumps receive their staging and speed signals from the Armstrong IPC controller. We're here in the chilled water plant, where behind me we have three Armstrong design envelope pumps each at 250 horsepower. Three pumps so that they have one redundant pump and they can pump throughout the entire hospital. The original installation consisted of base mounted pumps in a primary secondary configuration and going to the variable primary plant has allowed us to free up a significant amount of floor space that the owner can now use for their own purposes. Here we are at the chiller plant optimization system where the Armstrong controls have been installed. It's our model IPC 11550 and it controls the entire plant. It replaced a previous control system that was mainly used for data logging. The previous system was a constant chilled water primary variable secondary that was replaced with an all variable primary chilled water plant. On the condenser water side it was originally constant flow which was modified to be an all variable condensed water plant. From the touchscreen display here, the operator can walk up and access anything that they may need to control the plant. Additionally, with the internet connection that's installed, he can access the same information from his desk or anywhere in the world with his internet connection. Now, we're going to walk over to the operator and talk to him about the system that we've installed here. We're here today with uh, James Freeland from the Methodist Hospital your original system, what were some of the challenges that you were experiencing with it? Well, a lot of our problems came from uh, having to reset equipment, knowing what equipment had to be online, uh, what those parameters were supposed to be running at. Uh, this system fixed that for us. Okay. Were you having a lot of operator hours going and doing it? Was it a manual or automatic operation? Like how automatic was the operation? Or It was automatic was? to the extent of just commanding it on, but you had to have no which piece of equipment had to be on. Okay. We had a lot of guesswork when people weren't around. Night shift, weekends, that kind of thing. A lot of phone calls were made, a lot of people woke up, uh, a lot of man hours spent here trying to figure out tuning it, making sure everything was running all right. There were two or three of us that worked here in the plant, and we pretty much knew where everything had to run. We weren't here all the time, so we got woke up at night, and uh, we had to spread around here during the day during those problems. So then originally the uh, project started with a cooling tower replacement because you had an old cooling tower with wood fill and the project went from just a 
cooling tower replacement to chiller and piping reconfiguration and everything else. What was your decision making process to get like to get there? I guess that energy savings was one of them. Let's go ahead and go for it all if we're going to do this. Maybe get a better payback from it. Uh, the other chiller we had uh, wasn't quite reaching where it needed to be. We was at the limits of a 650 ton down there, so we needed more chiller anyway, so that's when it became a package deal with the energy savings. Okay. So during the, um, uh, uh, during the large transition from uh, the old cooling system to new cooling system, uh, were there any, uh, I guess, construction, um, not issues or challenges that you had where you were worried that, um, oh gee, we may not have cooling for the hospital, or was there few? Uh, yes, there was, you know, we had to bring in temporary cooling tower, there's issues with that. Uh, the dynamics of getting it all together, bringing it online, and uh, you're at the mercy of the weather to do this. We had 24 hour shutdown, so we had to make sure we had timed it just right with Mother Nature. Oh, and the um, and contractors, the general contractor, and Tim Rusher's performance on that was, uh, did everything get handled? Or everything did get a, handled. Uh, that's good. We we're very happy with the, what came out of this. So now that the uh, the system has been installed, it's been running for about a year now. Are there um, things about it that you really like, or that you may not have, like, may not have foreseen that you've uh, been able to have it for a year? What we really like about it, the system runs itself. It knows what needs to be online, when it needs to be online, online, how much uh, pressure it needs. Uh, so it tells, it alarm us whenever something goes down, tells us which piece of equipment needs to be online, lets us know when there's a problem with that. Okay. And um, did it help address some of those issues that you had, those uh, late night callbacks, and like, have those either gone away, or how is it, have you been able to address them differently? We have system? been able to address them differently. Now we can see the entire system from the house, and it might just be as simple as uh, leading the tech in a direction, telling them what to reset, and uh, he goes from there. So that you have used it from home, but you oh, have yes. used it. Okay. Yes, we do. So then, has that uh, eliminated any like nighttime? At least, well, you still get the call, some calls, but um, yeah, the, the downtime for the plant has significantly decreased. Okay. So, I mean, the, the plant will try and start itself. Sometimes their equipment does have to be manually reset, safety reasons. But other than that, it's a it's a better process. Has your staff time been reduced in spending on the chilled water plant, and what? Uh, if it has been reduced, what have they been doing instead of that? What other kind of things has it freed them up to do? Well, we're able to uh, spend more time preventive maintenance, uh, doing more things around the hospital. Right. And um, w would you recommend this to other hospitals and other owners? And uh, oh. what, what would be your overall recommendation for it? Oh, well, I definitely would. Uh, we don't regret anything about it. It's made our life easier. Uh, we love it. When it came to energy efficiency savings, did, were you uh, able? Have you been able to realize those savings? Have you seen the dollar savings and energy savings that you were expecting uh, from the installation? Yes, efforts? we've uh, we've been tracking that, and we see a considerable amount of money saved every month. Clearly, from the day we put it in, Excellent. and it's been uh, fine tuned ever since then. It just keeps getting a little bit better and better. Great. Well, James, thank you very much for spending your time with, uh, with us and allowing us to do this uh, walkthrough and uh, videoing of the, uh, of the equipment. We really, Armstrong significantly appreciates uh, all of your understanding and your openness with uh, allowing us to come through here and, uh, and to video your uh, space and to use your time. So once again, uh, thank you very much for having us. It's My a pleasure. pleasure meeting you. Thank you for uh, coming here today, uh, Tim. Well, thank you um, for inviting me. The, um, you were the general contractor on this project who uh, did the ins all the installation work and uh, with all the, uh, the modifications. It, um, the project originally started out as a cooling tower tender to change out the existing old cooling tower. And, um, and then it kind of grew into a project of replacing a chiller, doing all these pump modifications, adding the control systems. So like, what value did the hospital see in expanding the project from a cooling tower change out something rather simple to a more holistic plant renovation. Well, upon you know reviewing the whole plant, not just looking at the cooling tower, it became clear that the chiller plant was producing 42 degree water, but the best they could get 
out to the uh, load was 46, 47 degrees. So during that conversation, I decided that I would look at the piping. And we saw that the piping for the secondary primary loop was not, didn't have enough pipe diameters away from the return to the building. So there was a mixing problem. Well, we evaluated that, and one thing led to something else, and so we went from a cooling tower to looking at chill water pumps. Okay. And subsequently, um, we determined that they had an old, inefficient, single-pass chiller. Uh, wouldn't it be good to evaluate upgrading the chiller? And then, you know, energy efficiency became uh, a very uh, dear topic to the customer. And since we knew about the Armstrong product, well, we said, wouldn't it be cool just to have all of this stuff tied together uh, for maximization and optimization? So, um, and part of the installation that we've walked through is that we've seen that there's a, as an example, there's a condenser package out, um, out there that it's been installed, that mm -hmm. you install. And also we have packaged plant controls. So what, what advantages did you find with the packaged systems and installing it? Well, certainly one of them was that it reduced our risk because we knew exactly what the cost of that package was. Our uh, Armstrong gave us a quote for it, so we knew that that was exactly what that cost would be. Um, additionally, we knew that it would give us a very balanced system, that it would all come in on a skid, there would be you know, no dis, uh, uh, proportionate piping, there'd be no, no real issues that we had to deal with in the field. We had a very tight space limitation, so having something that could be factory built and we just let it down uh, over the parapet with a crane was much easier than having a crane here to lower down all kinds of things and to have man lifts and other, other devices to move the heavy components. Uh, did they have a uh, very tight schedule that they uh, put you under for this uh, renovation? Because uh, I guess it went from going from a cooling tower to a larger project. How did you, like, did their time, <laughs> did they give you uh, leeway on the timetable or did they just say <laughs> you have the same amount of time? Well, we had to, the timetable was really um, somewhat flexible, but bear in mind that we had to provide a temporary tower and a temporary 3,000 ton tower with the associated temporary pumps and the temporary electrical uh, had a great cost to it. And so from a contractor standpoint of managing our costs and uh, controlling our project, it was much easier to, to, for us to squeeze our timeline together using the Armstrong package product and thereby eliminating some of our costs with the uh, temporary equipment. Uh, it, uh, it really lends itself to a, a neat, quick install when the equipment gets here. And since we're timelining from the time we place the order, then it makes it easy to coordinate. Were there any other unexpected benefits that, or, or things that came up out of the installation that you found? Um, so that solving the chilled water was the issue, the efficiency. Was there anything else that you hadn't foreseen that came up as a, uh, as a benefit? Well, one of the things that we hoped for that did turn out was that we're now able to deliver set point of the chiller plant to the building. And so that, uh, we, we had hoped that that would reduce the number of hot calls. And so they went from having uh, maintenance staff chasing, uh, you know, the heat all over the building, you know, adjusting thermostats and responding to all kinds of complaints from patients to doctors to nurses, we're now it's a simple that we're delivering set point over so maintenance staff can now focus on actually doing maintenance work instead of just chasing heat. Oh, great. And so that's a, that's been a benefit that the hospital has been able to at, tell us about that we had hoped would be part of uh, the benefit as a soft cost. Right. And then on the uh, energy efficiency plant optimization side of it, uh, for the dollars and energy savings, was it what was expected, like predicted, and what you thought that the energy savings that they'd be able to um, get out of the system, or? I'm gonna say that it is, uh, it's close. Um, we uh, have certainly made the customer happy. They're, they are pleased and delighted with the, the savings that we have been able to give them. And uh, we've actually, you know, now had a year's operation, and so for 12 months, that saving is $316,000 and some change. 
Excellent. So it's a, it's a job that was well done and it gives us a lot of confidence that we can move forward with this uh, Armstrong package of control systems and pumps and the uh, staff that Armstrong has put together that we can confidently uh, quote similar projects to other hospitals, mm -hmm. other, other large uh, institutions. This brings us to the conclusion of the tour here at the Methodist Dallas Hospital. You may be wondering why I haven't taken you through the touchscreen display and all through the screens and the controls. Well, right now I'm going to hand it over to our local coordinator who's going to dial in remotely and take you through all the screens. I'd also like to take this opportunity to thank the hospital for hosting us here today and allowing us to walk through all of their systems and answer a few questions and as well as Tim Rusher from Rushco for taking his time out to sit down with us and answer additional questions to give you background. Once again, thank you for taking the time out, and now I hand it over to your local coordinator.